from Mind Apples and I'm one of the trainers there. And we've been hearing a lot from people recently saying that they're noticing that their motivation levels are dropping a little bit. So they've started out with the best intentions, the best plans, but for some reason they're just really struggling to take action. So I thought it'd be useful just to have a chat and a discussion about what is motivation um, and how can we boost it when we feel that we're sort of struggling a little bit. Now quite often people talk about willpower and motivation as if they're the same thing, but they're actually in fact quite different. Willpower is when we're forcing ourselves to do something and we're having to use lots of mental energy to constantly remind ourselves that we ought to be doing something, we must be doing something, we have to do something. And that takes a lot of mental energy that could be better used on the task itself. Whereas when we feel motivated, we're much more eager to act. And this is where it sort of, you know, comes from um, the Latin being sort of you know, eager, to, eager to move um, or eager to act. We feel a lot more engaged, we feel enthusiastic, you know, we have so much more kind of like get up and go. We need motivation in order to get beyond the thinking and the planning stage and into taking action. Now, back in the 1970s, 1980s, one of the popular management models was the theory of motivation when it came to incentives and having the carrot or the stick. So people were either incentivized by pay rises, bonuses, promotions, or they had the sort of the stick and that was the demotion, the, the lack of bonus, lack of a pay rise and stuff like that. But there's much more to sort of you know, human incentives and motivation than just um, financial rewards. There's things like choice, there's autonomy, there's our social relationships, there's that sense of well-being. And when we're feeling motivated, um, we become what we call in the flow or in the zone. And there's three elements that can help us get to that kind of like flow state. First element in motivation is having some external reasons, so some external driver. That could be um, pay rise, you know, it could be financial incentive, but it could also be um, a qualification, it could be an honours, it could be feedback. There also needs to be an inner drive, you know, so what is the inner purpose and the belief, um, or the, just the pure satisfaction and joy that we get from doing something, even if other people don't, don't know what we're doing or they don't know what our plans and our goals are. Quite often when people talk about their, their motivation for their personal best at Parkrun, it's that inner drive that's helping them go forward and succeed. And the third element is having a sense of ability and having the confidence that we can actually achieve what we've set out to do um, to the best of our abilities. And when we talk about abilities, that's skills, that's resources, that's technical knowledge and competence. So when we don't have motivation or when we don't have as much motivation as we like, it tends to be because one of those elements is missing. So it could be that there isn't an external reason that we can identify for doing it. So in order to get over that, sometimes we need to give ourselves a deadline. Uh, we need to sort of you know, think about why this is important. We need to you know, think about sort of, you know, who else might be benefiting from the task or the action or the project that we're doing, even if it isn't directly for us. Or if it's our abilities, we, we might need to sort of, you know, think of getting some support, some clarity around the direction. Um, it could be development, improvement, skills, resources that we might need to, um, to rely on and get support around. So in order to boost motivation, try and work out which one of those three elements is missing. Is it the external reason, the inner drive or the or the ability to do it? And at the end of the day, if you still don't have the motivation, cross it off your list, completely wipe it out. And I can promise you, if you can't bear to cross something off your to do list, there is probably motivation hiding in there in the background somewhere. So I hope this has been useful for you. Um, think about your motivation levels, think about the elements that can boost motivation to take us from sort of forced willpower to actually feeling that we want to do something and we feel engaged. Keep in touch with us, check back in. We've got lots more videos to share with you and some more top tips as well. And in the meantime, take care.